You are listening to the Horse Radio Network, part of the Equine Network family. How would you react if an act of kindness robbed you of a lifelong dream? In this episode of Barn Stories, we'll learn how one woman coped with disruptive generosity. Welcome to the Barn Stories podcast. I'm Lori Prinz, editor of Equus Magazine. And I'm managing editor Christine Barakat. This podcast features our favorite essays and articles published in Equus over the past 40 years. Although Equus is known for articles on horse care and veterinary research, our editorial mission has always been guided by the bond that exists between horses and people. And each issue has featured a real life story that celebrates how horses enrich our lives and touch our hearts. We've searched our archives, chosen the stories that resonated with our readers, and given them new life in this audio format. Longtime subscribers may recognize some of their favorite pieces. And if you're new to the Equus community, these stories will confirm that no matter what sort of saddle you sit in, a deep emotional connection to horses is something we all share. This is a story about a gift that comes at a price. The author is given a horse by kind friends. It's young, healthy, and well-behaved, the kind of horse anyone would be happy to own. The problem is that for years, the author dreamed of shopping for the perfect horse, and this generous gift from her friends puts an end to that dream. Personally, I really dislike horse shopping. I find the entire process not fun. But I also know that many people, like the author of this essay, really enjoy the search for a horse. From scouring online ads to traveling to farms across the county, the process is an important part of the history they'll eventually share with their perfect horse. And when that opportunity is taken away, even through an act of kindness, it can be understandably upsetting. The twist in this story is what made the author realize that she had gained more than she lost. So let's listen to Grace and Gratitude, written by Pamela Reed and read by Taylor Autumn. I don't know what to say. These were the words I quietly said out loud to my beaming neighbors. But inside my head, I was screaming with anger. How could they do this to me? I had waited my whole life to search for my dream horse, and now that opportunity had been taken from me. Meanwhile, the filly at the center of the scene stood quietly. My husband and I had recently purchased our first farm. It had been abandoned for two years and required renovation from the ground up. The barn needed a new roof. The pasture was encircled with broken posts linked by drooping barbed wire, and the hayfield hadn't seen a crop in 20 years. We tackled each project in turn, and we told our new neighbors, Dee and Charlie, that we planned on getting horses when the property was ready. All of this took time and money, but we wanted it all done right. Finally came the day when I walked outside and stared at our completed renovation, and a tear literally rolled down my cheek. This was the day I had been waiting for since I was a five-year-old girl. I was finally going to get to go horse shopping. I couldn't wait to go from farm to farm, searching for the one perfect filly who would be my soulmate. My 55th birthday dawned with the sun shining brightly. Then a pickup truck turned into our driveway with a horse trailer in tow. The driver got out, unloaded a beautiful Tobiano paint filly, and handed me the lead rope. Then Dee and Charlie ran over from their place, yelling, Happy birthday! I don't know what to say. Dee explained how she had come across the filly while searching for a horse for herself. I just couldn't turn down the opportunity to buy her for your birthday. Isn't she a beauty? I don't know what to say. Charlie, meanwhile, was going on about the ranch where they found her and how she had been trained. When the chit-chat paused and everyone looked at me expectantly, I could still only stammer, I don't know what to say. You say thank you, said my husband. Thank you, I said at last. That night, I tossed and turned. After 50 years of anticipation, my dream of searching for the perfect horse had been taken right out of my hands. But then I got angry at myself for being angry. After all, didn't our friends have my best interests at heart? They only wanted to give me the greatest birthday gift ever 
How could I be angry over such kindness? No one knows your horse's thoughts, emotions, and moods as well as you. Just as in touch as you are with their personality, Sentinel's expert nutritionists are in tune with their dietary needs. With feeds in the form of extruded nuggets to provide exceptional nutrition and formulas made for every life stage and activity level, Sentinel's wide choice of carefully crafted feeds makes it easy to find the perfect fit to better your horse's health. Learn more at feedsentinel.com slash health. That's feedsentinel.com slash health. I decided I needed to just get over it. But how? I started by picking out a perfect name. Zoe had always been a favorite. So I decided to start out with that. Did I do anything to bring her to this farm? No, I definitely did not. As I pondered the situation, I remembered that grace means unmerited favor. She was a total gift. Zoe Grace it is. The next morning, I arrived at the barn to greet Zoe Grace with a totally different outlook. Nothing had changed during the night but my mindset. But that changed everything. I looked into my filly's brown eyes with amazement. I felt like I could easily dive into those gorgeous, deep eyes and swim all day long. Seven years have passed now, and I can't imagine life without my beautiful Zoe. We are absolutely perfect for each other. And it's almost like she was always meant to be mine. Thanks for listening to Barn Stories. We hope you enjoyed this episode. If you have a favorite article or essay from the Equus Archives that you'd like us to feature in a future podcast, let us know. You can reach us at Equus Barn Stories, all one word, at gmail.com. Did you enjoy this episode of Barn Stories? Head over to iTunes to subscribe, rate, and leave us a review. Thanks for listening. The Barn Stories podcast is a production of the Equine Podcast Network, an entity of the Equine Network.